Hey, I'm Mike Baccarella, and today we're going to take a look at an arpeggio sequence I got from Jonathan Kreisberg that can be used on any scale. Let's take a look. <laughs> At its core, this sequence is really simple, and once we get the sequence down, we can then move it through the scale and all the arpeggios within it. So for the sequence, we're going to do this in the key of C. We start on the 7th of the C major arpeggio, so we start on a B. And we go down to the 5th, 3rd, root, 7th, and so we're starting there, that's the first chunk. And then we go back up, so 7, root, 3rd, 5th, then we go back down one more time. Seven, five, three, one. So the whole sequence goes like this. As for picking with the sequence, I'm, I'm alternate picking throughout it. You might be able to sweep pick through, but for me, alternate picking works the best for it. So I'm going, you know, starting on down. And ending there on an up. So I'm just alternating strictly throughout. And this sequence can be applied to any type of arpeggio, so that's a major 7. And as long as we start on the 7th, we can make this work. So I can do minor 7, dominant 7, and minor 7 flat 5, minor major 7. So now let's move it through the scale. So we're in the key of C, and if we harmonize our scale starting on the root, we start on major 7, minor 7 on the 2, minor 7 on the 3, major 7 on the 4, dominant 7 on 5, minor 7 on 6, and a minor 7 flat 5 on the 7. So we end up with C major 7, D minor 7, E minor 7, F major 7, G7, A minor 7, and B minor 7 flat 5. And so we're starting each of these sequences on the 7. So as long as we do that and move it through the scale like that, we got the sequence. And now we can apply this to any scale too. We could apply this to melodic minor, and that's something that Kreisberg does a lot. And so if we alter it from melodic minor, we end up with a minor major seven, a minor seven, a major seven sharp five, a dominant seven on the four, a dominant seven on the five, a minor seven flat five on the six, and another minor seven flat five on the seven. And we could keep applying this to any scale we wanted. Harmonic minor, harmonic major, diminished. You know, we, we can make up our own little patterns, all kinds of different things. And this works really well. Now, as far as I can tell, Kreisberg mostly does this on the top three strings. But for extra mileage, we can do this on any string set we want. We, we can just do the same sequence. So if I do this in C, I'll start on the F major 7. <laughs> was on 
the second, third, and fourth string rather than the first, second, and third. You can move it to other string sets too. You can get a lot of mileage out of this idea. So I hope you enjoyed this short little lesson on the sequence that I got from Jonathan Kreisberg. Um, I think it's really cool, and it, it kind of stops the show every time he does it. I think it's a really cool thing that grabs your attention. Experiment with it, move it through all different scales, different different string sets. You know, you even try different versions if you wanted. I hope you enjoyed. We'll see you next time.